Hey guys, welcome to the second episode of this video login series on uh, where I'm trying to create a web search engine in Python and uh, quite a fun thing that in the previous part I really did try to create a, a general purpose web crawler but ended up creating uh, basically a scraper <laughs> and this is really fun for <coughs> sorry uh, this is really fun for uh, when you do lots of scrapers in your daily kind of job tasks uh, you eventually end up uh, writing another another scraper <laughs> even if you try to to write a crawler but this time I'll try to avoid this and uh, actually really try to write a crawler and probably uh, some sort of to-do list is going to help me so I'll try to define what am I supposed to do in this uh, part of this login series just to make sure that I will end up writing a real crawler even though it would be quite pretty simple but still it won't be a scrapper anymore okay so I, I really hope that this works so uh, let's call this simple web crawler and here we just want to create a little to-do list so first, what we want to do in this uh, script here. So the first thing to consider, we have to uh, make, yeah, make HTTP GET request to the initial initial URL, and then we want to uh, parse parse the response and get all the available links so we are talking about the uh, tag A, A well, so this one and we also want to extract the each reference attribute along with the title itself but just, just it's it's not the point at the moment okay and then we want to uh, follow follow the extracted extracted links and repeat the same and finally uh, so we want each time to parse the response and to get all the available links and then follow the extracted links and repeat the same and uh, here is the point to define where do we supposed to break out of this some sort of kind of infinite infinite recursion probably that's the right way to, that's the right way to call this so uh, break break out of the loop either on hitting the depth the, the given depth maybe I'll check this later on maybe not I don't know so either on hitting the given depth or if no more links are available okay so let's basically start here so let's import some libraries in as always we would need requests in import Requests library to be able to make an HTTP requests and also from base four import beautiful soup like this. Okay, so just like the previous video, I'll try to define this start URL and 
it just like in the previous video I want this to be the stack overflow just just as an entry point we will be able to ch change this later on and uh, I even got a crazy idea like to make some sort of the visual scraper to, e to be able to run this from the web application that I'm supposed to create in the next parts well but first for sure it's it has to be debugged in this in the command line mode okay and let's basically okay guys I, I'm sorry I just need to go away for a while so just pause the video and come back in a minute okay okay I'm back now so I'll, I'll create some sort of response to quests get the start URL and I also want to extract all the available links from this page so first I'll create the variable for the entire content and parse the entire content using the beautiful soup function and I'll use here response.text so this means I'll use the entire textual response from the given page and I'll use the lxml parser to parse the document and now I say links is equal to content at final and now I need to specify the particular tag I'm looking for and this would be the A tag well this is it so this has to return the list of links and before ever storing these links I want just to look over the links like this for link and links I just want to print out the screen link h reference along with link dot text which is the title of the given link oh sorry so I need this one and here I want to run the script with pumpkin free uh, dot pi requests <laughs> requests <laughs> yeah Re requests 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 <laughs> okay so some doesn't have some doesn't have the H reference. It's really it's really tricky. Okay. Hmm. Well, I just let's add a separator to make it a bit more clear. So not all the links have the H reference attribute. <laughs> this is really cool. <laughs> I couldn't ever imagine this this to be honest. Uh, well okay, so let's see if if link reference is this gonna be just true key error oh probably I should just try this instead of and there's another error I believe yeah it doesn't have this key here so well let's just try and error and I 
basically do nothing here. Okay, more eight. This is cool. More eight. Oh, just probably some sort of the new lines here. Well, okay. Now I'm just a bit wondering. Uh, so if I just about to store the particular uh, description, if I'm about to store the description for the links, then what am I supposed to do here? So probably supposed to have some sort of text, basically. Not sure what to use as the text and well if you say maybe the paragraph the p tag hmm. let's have a look at the stack overflow side again oh come on what is this oh it's basically what am i parsing here so What links to extract from here? Well, it's really lots, really a lot of stuff here. Okay, just oh, what have I done? What did I close? Hmm. Why did I close the terminal? So, where are all those links? Just wondering. Huh. There are so many links in this page. I really wonder. So, or maybe I just can use this title here to, to represent... Okay, let's see the code of the page. So, title is Stack Overflow. Developers can learn and build careers. Okay, and what about the text? Any textual data here? So let's see the paragraph P tag. Get your coding questions answered to learn. Read users. Ask questions. Well, this seems to be pretty cool basically. So, well, let's start with using the P tag to get the description. And what am I supposed to use to get the title? Well, basically, let's leave it as the link title itself for now. Okay, so description. It would be called content dot final. And here I will use the p tag. Okay, but wait wait a minute. So I would also need to associate every description with the root URL that I'm following. So this description would be associated with this one. Okay, so I have no idea to be honest just how to implement this the correct way, but Okay, so one way of doing this is via the recursion. So, well, let's let's try with this sort of approach and just basically trying to see what happens. Okay, def Chrome, and I would need the URL here. And then later on, probably, probably the depth. But for now, just don't need that. So, mm -hmm. okay. So, how many times am I supposed to get the description? I'm going to get the description for each particular URL. I will 
but I would probably have many links and only one description for the current for the current page. So I need to return the description into the previous into the previous link context. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's why the difference between the hundred percent percent live coding and doing some pre-coded stuff when I to, when, to be honest I have no idea what I'm supposed to do now I have like kind of general understanding of that but in particular well I need well okay so so let's go with the trial and error method as I used to do so the first thing I'm about to consider here I need some some variable to store the URLs that I would actually be following. But do I really need to store them when I can simply, instead of just storing these URLs, I can simply follow this H reference. Okay, let's command this for a while and just try to do a thing, thing like mm, so instead of okay I just want to make sure that the crow function it's called so crow and here I want to specify the current the current URL. Like this. Okay, let's try. So if I say just crawl and use the start URL then I'm supposed to see what am I supposed to see here? the initial root link apparently, okay now that's syntax forgot to add the column here in, in the block okay Oh come on, what's what's wrong here? Oh, whoa, what am I doing? I, I I'm looking at this for. Oh my god, what am I doing? So just Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, this happens just because Okay, let's just do nothing here for a while. Okay. So it's growling the stack overflow to come. And you know what? What I want to do here as well, so I want to return for each URL, I want to try to return to return um, maybe a dictionary. Maybe a dictionary with URL. This would be the URL basically, and then the title, and this would be the uh, okay. I need the title for the Stack Overflow. Well, if I use the title itself. Well, this might be an interesting idea, by the way. 
so well maybe using this title is even better idea okay content find title so maybe just trying the title here description description and I want to limit well so this is not the way of doing things so I need to maybe just using the very first paragraph instead of all so to return the string in here over here and maybe using say first hundred of characters or stuff like that okay so let's see and I also don't really want this line now So let's see the result. I don't want to put in the result here. Okay, I don't want to uh, print the result in a slightly more pretty way. So I use result. This and say JSON dumps result and use the indent equal to two. Okay, one more time. Hmm. Type error object of tag is not JSON. Okay, so not the description, but description to text. But what if what if there is no text? Well, I'll wrap this into try except later on, probably. Oh, come on. I just doesn't like this one okay now it has to work right oh come on oh oh sorry sorry for this so we need title.text as well mm -hmm. okay and also we want to strip so title is okay but the description here we want to strip and replace all the new line characters with nothing or maybe with a slight with with a space well, okay Stack Overflow and hit the description by using our privacy acknowledgement that you have written more. Well, not the best ever, not the best ever description for the Stack Overflow, but the title is actually much better, you know, so. Well, maybe just, just leave this for now. Okay. So, what am I supposed to do now? So the first condition to 
break out of recursion would be when the depth is exhausted. So I can add the depth argument here. But another one would be, say, if there won't be any links as well. So I can wrap this part into try accept and say train this and accept I would just return the current URL which would be okay the current title well the title would be available in any case so they, there might not be any links there might not be any description but there definitely would be a title, right? So I can try accept only these two lines. And also there probably would be some text on the site. Well, I don't know. Or maybe I just do the try. Okay, maybe just make it in a general try accept like this and maybe try and all this stuff. So say there is no links. Okay. And in accept I want to return Probably the same URL. Okay, just wondering does the requests response have have title? Just wondering. So right here we use the response tag. So let, let, let me just check this out quickly. Let's print response title and just return from the function here. Okay. Oh, <laughs> of course, of course, not here. Okay, doesn't have title. Does it have body? Could have look into the request documentation, but okay, it doesn't. So this this is probably from the scrappy or something. I'm not sure. Okay, so well, maybe okay, okay, probably probably the right way of doing things. I'm not really going to try this all. Okay. Let me take this back. So I would just try only the links. No, it's not going to be here. So I will try just the links and accept. Here I will return title and description. Uh, yeah, and the URL is taken from here, so I just can basically use this code. Well, a bit, a bit weird thing that I have the code duplicating, which is not generally good, but what am I supposed to...
Oh, so I need to return twice here. So if I can't find any links, I just return. I need to return when it is exhausted. Okay, so maybe I just can use it can use a data structure here. Like result or how to call this. Resolve the spawns structured data. Well, let's call it result. So I'll say the result like this. Okay, and here I will return the result. So here I will return the result as well. And also I want to have this depth argument. Before ever trying, to extract the links, I would probably need to say if depth is equal to zero, return result. Looks like uh, minimax algorithm in chess engines. No, not not exactly, but something like that. The brute force, the brute force following every single link on the page without any prefer without preferring any single one. So doesn't distinguish the weights of the links. Okay. Okay, to be honest guys, I, I really I have no idea what's gonna happen now, but what I assume here, based on this piece of code... Okay, so I also had a recursively... So, well, I, I won't really... Uh, I won't really follow the links recursively at the moment, but instead I want just to print... supposed to follow here maybe let's make it like so and link and reference well if I if I used session instead of requests it's all probably I could have used the raw H references, but in this case I would probably need to add to them some sort of the start your row. But nevertheless, let's just try to see. Okay, so now it gives me an error for the crow now needs two arguments. Let's check let's check that out. Okay. So the first thing if I just give the depth of zero it needs to return the result of URL equal to Stack Overflow title, Stack Overflow title and the description respectively. So let's try this. Okay, and he, he returns from the function. Okay. If I give him the depth of one, he would probably return over here 
Let's just check this out. Wait. Okay, I don't need this. Uh, I'll see this following URLs in case of depth of one. So, what are the URLs it's supposed to follow? Okay, and they all start with HTTPS, which is pretty good. And he would probably fail here, but I'll handle this just in a moment. Wondering how is how does he supposed to handle this sort of URLs? Not sure. Okay. So let's keep this for a while. Sorry guys. Okay, now let's try. Now let's basically try to call the crowd recursively and use the link hreference and depth minus one. Also, here on depth, so following your row like this on depth Z and and here I'll use the depth. Okay, now this is gonna be interesting. Okay, let's see what happens. Well, at least it does something, which is already cool. So it prints and if it crowds this, but what, why on earth it doesn't give the response, the result doesn't return the result here. I'm just wondering. Mm. And also, my crawler can be banned for too many requests. Well, okay, so. To be honest, I have no idea what's going to happen here. Oh, I used the start URL. Okay. Okay, so sure, I have to use the URL instead. Okay, let's see this now. Oh my goodness. Okay, invalid URL schema. Okay, so he can't he can't do all of those. Mm. Let's say try to get the response and accept well let's just generally say is not available can't follow can't follow the link hmm.
Okay, now he says that Okay, what do we what do we return? So let's let's basically just return without the much Okay, and a, a one little more thing here that Okay, so I returned the result. Mm. But I do not bring this anywhere. Hmm. supposed to do here so before I ever about to save the the result the yeah the return value before I uh, ever before I'm ever about to save the return value of the crawl function I need to somehow see the given result so whatever just try to print the result over here well let's just have a couple of new lines here. let's call this return Okay, so somewhere he didn't he didn't succeed to get the text in the description quite a fun. Okay, let me form this in a little bit trickier way, so Jason Dumps. And I need another new line here. So let's try this one more time. And end. Okay, this is better. Okay, let's see what we got here. So First, it goes to Stack Overflow, title, OK, description, great. Following URL, this hash symbol in depth one, fail to perform get request, great, OK. Following URL, OK, so maybe I just need to add an extra new line after. Here and this okay following your row stack overflow com again well okay maybe this just is available on the page well in that case that's just fine Mm, maybe I'll need to filter if 
accelerator the Zeppelin cadence tense. Okay. Okay, return, stack overflow. Okay, this is ex absolutely the same. Now, he can't get the team customers, teams use cases. So, yeah, if there is no HTTP S, then he can't get these. Okay. Now he goes to Stack Overflow Business, Stack Overflow Talent, Hiring Developers, Browse with the Customer. Okay, this this sounds pretty cool. Okay, now following the URL. And also you have to print this. Maybe just use when I print the result itself. Maybe just use the cow proof. Lines. Following the URL. Mm -hmm. We can stack over flow. Well, not that bad. User sign up. Too many, too many. Yeah, too many applications here. So maybe I just should use a bit more simpler site first. Hmm like topscrape.com well that might be more interesting well and finally if he fails if it doesn't find the description okay so let's see what happens with the description so yeah Hmm. Is a non type. Well, I can try accept description as well. And I can basically do this here with the response. So, say if I get the response with. Hmm. Or maybe just this won't be failed. Yeah, if I just put this over here, this would be failed to perform. It should be guest request. It would be failed to parse. Mm. So maybe just to have another try sub block, or simply say if. Description is none. Description equals to nothing, and this and this stuff put over here. So I'll reference the description variable only in case if it is not none. Okay, well if it is none. Okay, like this. Else description. this okay let's try so title should have been always available right and yeah okay so 
I, I don't really want to torture Stack Overflow for now. Okay, maybe just run this one last time, and I will switch. I will switch back to. Not not switch back. I, I will switch for the first time to top scrape. Come. So. Well, at least now it just seems to be running some at some point. Stack Overflow business. Okay, great. Okay. Okay. So will I be able to debug this in top scrape? Okay, okay, so I would probably go now to topscrape.com site just to make sure okay top scrape com what or that's the site for the quotes, maybe quotes. It's not what I'm looking for. No, it is. Quotes.topscrape come. Okay, so this one. So this, this doesn't seem to involve. The link without. The entire. URL, but maybe that is good at some point. Okay. Well, at least, at least. So this this site doesn't seem to. Okay, scraping hub com, got reads com. What is this? Wow. Great. So maybe I'll just try to avoid these two guys for the first time. Okay, okay, let's try this top scrape. Come. Okay, so. how this code looks like. I'll try to refactor it later on, but okay, just just wondering what is what it is, what is this going to do? Okay, and now this tag tag books, tag humor. So he fails to get all of these guys. Okay, so this is first thing to debug. Mm -hmm. Okay, now go with red quotes, scrape and help. Okay, and this is basically it. Subscribe, come, and login. Okay, so he did fail to. Okay, let's create the follow URL variable equal to link each reference and I just want to say if 
link if if HTTP has it might be HTTP or HTTPS. Okay, let's and let's leave this as HTTP HTTP not in link for URL be equal basically the current URL right so URL plus link else equal to link a reference like this let's try this one more time okay still the same disaster here I'm really wondering what's going wrong here okay sure if he ever gets there okay he gets oh yeah sure I need I need to pause the full URL at this moment like this okay now it seems to be much better much better so here he goes through the links but the title is still the same the title is all always the being the same so quotes to scrape and login is the only description here hmm It would be much better if it would use the description. So yeah, not from the current page, but apparently from the recursively return one. Okay. I'm kind of a bit of tired for the for the day for the day for this evening, to be honest just my head doesn't really work that great and at this particular moment well but at least he does seem to go through all of the through all oh blink so I don't need this extra slash here so I just need to make it like this Okay, let's try. So title is still hmm. it's like from the first page both the title and the description does seem to be just from the first page. But why? Okay, let's try to add some extra debugging messages. So, crowding URL. Ok, 
Okay, growing. Let's do scrape. He give me the same title all of the time. That's a bit weird to be honest. Okay, let's just try check this out by hands. So say I have say I go to this link about the author. Oh title didn't change, yeah. Which is not really that great idea. Okay, the title didn't change. Yeah, and login is still the description here. So this is site specific apparently. Mm-hmm. This seems to be site specific. Okay, it takes the first paragraph. In here, hmm. What am I supposed to do with this? Well, say, yeah, say I just just try to to check this theory out. So, say I use the find all. And I'll use the which which one? So zero. This is probably one. This is probably two. Let's take the second element here. I'm trying to see the text. Made with love by scrapping up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, the author description. Okay, the description is description is so I need the next one. So take the third element. Okay, now he has troubles with. Okay. Doesn't have them everywhere, the third one element. But this would definitely be this text. Okay. Okay, so so what if I try to scrape all the text? Mm. So this is the list, right? Description. I need to turn this list into the string. So how am I supposed to do this using the join function? Something like that. Mm. So, only if I'm this, so I think 
you know this cell phone well. Uh, description is now a list. So, join description. Okay, let me leave this like so for now. Expect a string instance tag found. Okay, oh my goodness. Okay, maybe I can do this using the list comprehension. So, description for. Okay, description text for description in. might give some variable name errors at the moment so here I'm just trying to extract all the text elements let's try this quite a fun it works okay description July England United Kingdom description Close by annoying. Hey, do do, do you want to see? This is not. Okay, what if I just use body the text? That's beautiful. Soup actually allow me to do that. I'm really wondering. So, oh, this is diff class author description. Oh my goodness, I couldn't ever imagine this would happen like so. Well, let's try description as um, description. I just try to find. I'm really wondering whether he gives me all the text. Okay, this, this description object is not callable. Description the text. Okay, okay. Okay, now this is great. Now this is great. So he scrapes the entire text. Okay, I really like this much more at the moment. And just to avoid... Well, I can basically store the entire text into the database, but I would, I would like... Well, probably just while showing this to the web application, I would like to limit the size of text like some way like Google does this say so just take some part of text from somewhere from the middle okay so this is already cool and now I want to change this title to some something like it more looks like Okay, so, so some, oh my goodness, what is this? Is this JavaScript? Oh my god, what is this, man? Oh my goodness. He probably considers... Need to replace these tabs here. Consider it's JavaScript. Consider it's JavaScript to be the part of text. Okay, let me go another way. I, I, I remember there was a way to extract 
all the text from the page with beautiful soup. So let's just check that out. Beautiful soup. Extract all text from the page. in the documentation no this is the specific solution don't really need this okay it's not that side maybe here okay this is it so here Extract all URLs. Okay, extracting all text from the page. Okay, soup get text. Okay, they already created this. Okay, just great. So we don't really need the description at all. So So, okay, no, not like this, we just say description, content, what do they call this? Get text. Get text, perfect. Hope no, no JavaScript at the moment. What? Okay. Of course, it's string already at the moment. Okay, cool. This is cool. This is cool as well. This is so cool. Oh, can't. Oh my goodness! Oh no, Mac, come on! The beautiful sub function returns to JavaScript as well. What the hell is that? Oh, guys, how could have you done this? Oh, come on! How could have you done this? Do you really use this body.txt? Oh no. Installing crawler. Well, does it really? Oh no. Yeah. Get text. Is this a bug? Oh no. So it probably okay. Where where did it resolve this weird response? So what's the particular URL here? Goodreads.com. Goodreads.com. Okay, let me see. What the fuck is Goodreads.com? Having the tones. Oh man! Come on! Discover and read more. No, I don't want this. I just want to view the page source. Hey man, do you really want to tell me that this is the scrape tag, but. Do you consider this to be... Do you really consider this to be the text? Ah, uh, well sometimes looking, uh, looking for a text within the JavaScript might be interesting while dealing with scraping, but in this case so we'd just be extracting the entire... Okay, this is really weird. This is really weird. Okay, can I... It doesn't use the script tag, just just goes with this weird JavaScript here. Yeah. yeah, I'm a bit disappointed with the standard functionality. 
Oh, beautiful soup with this cat text. This is really weird. Mm. Could have also replaced the tabs. I just forget that for a while. Okay. Okay. Yeah, still don't really like. Okay, what about the title? What about the title? Maybe this would be changing the title. Okay, let me just check this Stack Overflow again. Okay, so Stack Overflow .com. So here we'll developers learn. Okay, and then go to the customers, customers and case studies. Well, this is great. I say go to the use cases. This is also great. Enterprise knowledge management. This is also great, but yeah, for some point at this close top scrape. Uh, here it doesn't change the title this is weird but if we just go to the good reads we, we already have the popular quotes the popular quotes here so I can assume that even though the particular site doesn't really give me what I need in terms of title so he says like this, this is the same title for all of those, for all of those links. Quotes to scrape. I have no idea how to generalize this in the right way. How long do I record this video? Just have no idea. Should have used the timer apparently one day okay forget that okay so let's assume even let's assume this is okay but I can print the res the, the result which seems to be fine and I'm returning this result so what if instead of returning this result, I would just return... Okay, so here I return as in commands here return when depth is exhausted. I hope I have written the word exhausted correctly. Exhausted. Okay. And so he goes here, he follows the link. And he goes recursively. And when when he goes for the last one, okay. He returned in here and so here. So I'll probably if I just kick this away. I hope the program works the same. I really hope so. Well, extracting the JavaScript seems to be really weird okay can I use the page up not not in this life probably just okay there is there is the easier way I just what I want to check out now is is this the same I'm gonna take this risk this away and return it back the return statement 
probably has to be the same. No. Hmm. Let's try make another little example here. So if I say the result list and here instead of print this stuff, I'd like simply to say well it's not good to call this result let's call this data hmm here I want data and result okay I can print this for now still and I want to, to print the land of the data the cool thing he returns from top scrape from this last one uh, close uh, what was the name okay doesn't matter so 56 if I just don't return here I don't want to say this is gonna be less this is still 40 56 this is probably well I'm not sure why why the output is not the same hmm. so I try to crawl the scrape and help so this was the last crawling the scrape and help here Okay, I'm not sure, but just leave this for a while and here. Let's leave it as URL depth. So which are the cases when I return from the crawl function? So if you can't get the requested URL, then it just returns here. So we always have the title and the description and the other way 
Okay, okay, links. Returns here as well. Mm -hmm. Well, this really needs a uh, really strong refactoring. Maybe I would even try to. I would probably have to create some some test pages at some point. Well, I'm not sure. Hmm. Yeah, really lots of things to, things to think about, basically. Okay. So what if I try the depth too? So what I wanted, what was the behavior I wanted to have that it would return from the crawl function in case if it, there is there are no more links on the page? Well, this happens. Yeah, this happens. Well, at least in theory. Okay. Okay, let's now try to make it in depth too. Let's also avoid printing data in. Okay. like this okay oh, wait a minute oh this is because I'm, I'm printing this result uh-huh uh So yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So let me just kick this out. So I don't want to return any result. I just want to return from the function here. Just want to return from the function. No returning the result. Okay. So I need to know the length of the data. And it would be the same all the time. Okay, make it one more time. So this is all in the depth one. This is not really good double slash here, but lots of doublings, many repli uh, duplications. Hmm. No depth two. Still considers this to be the depth one. Just wondering why. Depth minus one, okay. Oh, that was probably on depth zero. Not sure, but okay. So, here, what was the depth? Just later on.
Okay, death too. Okay, so at some point he uses his death too. Okay. Who seems to be the Dublin? And you're duplicating things, okay. Thomas Edison. Seems a bit wrong to me. Okay, so what happens if we go on the death one? place to print the death basically yeah so the true depth Okay, uh, but instead of let's make it like this, save. Okay, and mm, what if I just go for the death too? Let's see, author Albert and Einstein. Again, author Albert Einstein on the page one. Well, that's basically the same. It's not really good. Well, the search generally seems to be working just fine, but well, okay. search engine and in general in the crawler in particular even though it seems to be quite easy task it's not it's not e it's not that easy well at least for me so well maybe not depending on all the data but instead well if we're getting such horrible issues on, on this On such a simple site, what am I supposed to face in a more complicated things, more complicated sites? Mm.
Okay, let me try uh, some sort of creator on my own one day. So the cool monkey can sight. Mm. You wrote lots of links as well, but I'm just wondering. Okay, this this is the euro. It doesn't seem to have many external links. No, nothing more but my GitHub account. So I just want to test this. Just want to test this in here. So. Mm. Something weird is happening here. So he goes for the free soft a depth zero here. And then the depth one here. Oh, and then what, what the hell is this? <laughs> Just wondering if it's going somewhere. Okay, he stopped one day. So, well, at least. At least it stopped one day, but too many unnecessary stuff. So is this link alive? <laughs> Quite a fun it is. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh So how can I handle the duplications? Maybe checking the description. A bit too too long. Maybe by the link. So let's try if So let's try for entry in data, look over the data list and I'll say if entry euro if well, if I say if you're rolling entry euro, that won't be right. Okay, just uh, it's hard to think now. I'm really tired. Okay, if you're rolling. Not in okay, just just to make it clear if spells just between just to see. 
speed this is gonna be a bit shorter Alright guys, I'm really tired now. I'm starting to do the fence and code monkey canes approach like I usually do when I'm tired, just trying all the possible variations. I know that sounds really weird, but that's the truth. How I code when nobody see me. Okay, it's probably just time to stop quite soon for I'm doing I'm doing just some weird shit. Okay, and he just zero. So he didn't. Oh my goodness, what have I done? Of course I can't. Uh, what have I done? No! It's so wrong. I can't loop over the data array for it's already kind of empty and in that case I could have manually add some there something there but mm, okay maybe just leave this for now as is so uh, I will need uh, I will need to create some sort of mechanism to avoid duplicating the data this is the crawl data so to avoid the crawler going back and back and forth again and again at some point and you know I'm really starting to, now I'm really starting to think about creating a simple sort of I don't really call this a website but just just some pages basically to to some to, to make it just just for the testing purposes just to make sure the the crawler works as expected I'm not sure if I'm really about to pick that to, to pick that path but probably well, at some point this might be an option for sure okay guys I'm really tired now and I just end up this part at this particular moment and maybe tomorrow uh, I'll get some rest and continue with a new power from within and actually trying to do something better so okay what I've done here so making the get request to initial URL and as far as the response Get all the links, okay. Follow the links. I did this break out the loot, break out of the loop when hitting the given depth, or if no more links are available. So, this is this works, this doesn't work yet. So, I'll keep this and keep this away. quick draft of the to-do list for tomorrow or for the next day when I will continue on this so I will need also to try to avoid duplicating duplicate links Well, you know, like uh, I really know this scrappy does doesn't allow to the duplicate responses. Unfortunately, I'm not. I'm, I have no idea how is that implemented in scrappy. Okay. Try to avoid duplicate link links responses. And probably yeah, just try to draft. A, a very simple, I mean, even not really simple, I forgot the word. How is that called? A 
very simple. Primitive. Try to draft a primitive. Okay, I don't know how to write the primitive correctly. Okay, forget that. So, try to draft a simple site. Or maybe just pages. To debug the crowd. Okay. And also, I had some ideas on adding some scrapping features to the crawler, but probably I won't really be adding this into this particular to do this, just get back to this later on. Okay, guys. I'm done for today, so take care and until the next time.